Alrighty, well, welcome everybody. Well, I just finished up my stream uh, about 20, 30 minutes ago, and um, I had just started on my uh, my Final Fantasy 14 blog post. So, and um, and like I usually do on these, I just find it easier to just make a video about what I'm wanting to talk about rather than trying to type down this big monstrous wall of text, you know, images and and all that, you know. So I just find it easier to just easier and quicker to just make a video, make a video about it. Yeah, because otherwise uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be here all evening and all night sitting here trying to type down, you know, what I want to, what I want to say and what I want to show. So, but uh, what you're looking at is, um, this is uh, Guild Wars 2 and this is my uh, Elementalist class. I started playing him, I started playing him yesterday and I kind of like what I saw. Um, hello. Anyway. Anyway, but um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a showcase on this guy. Um, I if I got time, I might even do a world boss, but uh, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And then, we'll be, and hell, hell, before I even before I even continue on, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some music in the background. And this is gonna be looks like I messed that up. Anyway, um, this is gonna be Tube Warmers. This is their self-titled album. And then one thing I also learned recently, um, in, if you go to the PvP lobby, you have, you'll start at one, you'll, or one, you'll start at max level, and you'll have access to everything. And I'm kind of going the wrong way here. But yeah, you'll have have access to all the skills all these uh all these specs you'll even have access to the uh, elite ones and uh there you need a for these ones here you need a boatload of hero points to get so which again it I've tried it before you have to you have to go find hero points in various locations. They often have um, like hero runs or something like that. I've tried them. I can't keep up. So anyway, but anyway, you have your PV PVP lobby. You have access to everything. So now he's primarily a healer spec. Oh yeah. He Damage and I wasn't expecting this many people here. So, but I guess I'll have to run away back here. I guess I should probably explain what um uh, what the abilities do. Um, the big thing with Elementalist is he has access to all four elements. So. He, he's kind of like the Black Mage in Final Fantasy XIV. Like, uh, they, he can cast... Black Mages can cast uh, spells from four elements. I mean, their, their fire deals a lot of damage, but drains mana. Their water slash ice deals very little damage, but restores their mana. Um, I think they have... Back when I played, their thunder deals damage over time. I can't remember what Earth... I can't remember what Earth does. Probably like Earthquake or something. So, and I'm currently attuned to water, but you can change you can change your element at any time. But strong. Think of it. Think of it is though. Um, the the element that you left, I believe, uh, by default has a 10 second cooldown. But uh, I got a—I have a trait that reduces that to eight seconds. And then every time you switch an element, you'll get a—you'll get a certain buff. My power is like, like, a tidal wave. like that uh, heals everybody around you. 
Um, that up. Uh, it gives swiftness to everybody around you. Um, I think Earth. It gives uh, protection to everybody around you. Then a fire. I think damages monsters around you. Fire. Okay, maybe not. It uh, gives everybody might. They deal extra damage. So. And then, and as you can see here, then what uh, what abilities you have depends on what uh, element you have. So in that, they're almost like the um, they're almost like the engineer class. And uh, I actually did a video on them. Uh, my uh, my. My scrapper, I think that's who he was. But, um... Because I don't have a... Even though I, I can't equip them, I don't I don't officially have them. I'm not going to mess with them right now. Um, I played around with them a little bit, but they're, they're not the reason I'm here. Um, like I said, my uh, as far as these three uh, three specs go, it's uh, my main is water, which is which is healing. Um, air, I mainly have air because it's uh, it's centered around swiftness, and I, as you can see here, swiftness increases your movement speed, and then arcane. Yeah, it, it's um. Uh, it enhances your um, it enhances your uh, element switching, which is what I do a fair amount of. Like every time you switch, you gain extra might. It also heals you a bit. Um, and I just showed this to you a few moments ago. It uh, gives everybody around you a ramp up, uh, the appropriate buff. Um, if I start um, if I start reviving somebody, then um, this geyser kicks in. But one thing, one thing I really like about uh, about this spec here is uh, this ability. It also uh, it also helps revive as well. So, yeah, and then you have uh, and concentration. For those that don't know, is uh. How long your buffs last? It's a, like a bonus percentage. I can probably show you right here. Yeah, bone duration, or at least, at least in PvP where I'm at right now, it's 11 percent. So, oh, I guess we we'll go back to that. So yeah, then whenever you roll, you'll cast one of these uh, abilities, but it only works in combat. And uh, there's also uh, there's also arcane skills, but uh, I hardly use them. Yeah, so, yeah, 45 seconds. If anything, I probably have that. speed is increased as, and if, as long as I'm as long as I'm attuned to air I deal extra crit and we got uh, I might need a so, but you, you kind of get the idea here like that and then and I kind of said this a few minutes ago too it um or, let me let me back up. I guess uh, this does the same thing as a tuning to fire. It deals damage to enemies around me. And then glyphs. That's not a glyph. That's a cantrip. Okay, I guess I ain't got any. 
Oh, that's a clip. There, I got clips there, so they all got reduced recharge. Yep, this is uh, it's a heal over time. Used, uh, I've used this. It's not, it's not super effective. Um, I, if I can remember to, I'll explain later. But uh, you have to actually hard cast any aura, any aura abilities you have. You have to actually hard cast them. Like you can't. Uh, it, this doesn't trigger from a combo. And here's cantrips. Water mode right now deals damage, heals everybody around me for a little bit. Um, and this is a it's a blast finisher. For those that don't know, um, combos in this game consist of two parts: the field, in this case being water, which is usually uh, usually healing. And then you have uh, the finisher, but uh, this one here, there's actually a uh, about a two to three second delay before it actually goes off. You know, and you got a combo field of ice, another combo field of water, and again you have blast and uh, blast finishers. It uh, it affects everything in the uh, in the area. Like some physical projectile, it would um it would only affect uh, targets that I actually hit. Like single target. It's got its own blast. We got combo kill the fire. Or mag. I was gonna do a demo on a world boss, but too late now. I'll show you. I can be two in the air. I call upon the storm drone. Like, I'm in air mode right now. This version here, it changed to different targets. One. A bit of a charge up, but it only hits um, enemies that are within the area. So, but um, believe it or not, the main focus is healing. Like I said, this is Ice Spike, but uh, it's on a short cooldown, but it, it takes a while to get there. So, it's a finisher. Area healing. There's a you can do quite a bit of different combos with this uh, with this class. I'll go make a water field 
Guess what helps me hit the right button? Strong. There's a shoot. Take my dust. Make a make a lightning field. It'll probably Yeah, it doesn't disappear itself. Regeneration. That's the uh, that's the physical projectile. Finish it. But, but like I said, um, in case I didn't say earlier, Final Fantasy XIV's Black Mage kind of works the same way. Like I said, it kind of works the same way. You're casting fire till you run out of mana, then you cast ice to restore your mana. Um, but you'll basically you'll be using all four elements in, during during combat. swiftness out of that too. And this is my this is my elite skill. And it's also on a two minute cooldown. Yeah, basic idea, but once again, this build, this class, or at least the way I have it set up, is primarily centered on healing. You can tell here, power, healing power, and concentration. Looks like the uh, the boss is just about to start, so I might, I'm gonna try doing a demo on a world boss of this guy. But I I really do need a I really need a, I really do need to shut this down fairly soon. I still got a bunch of things I gotta do this evening.
Yup, that is one thing I like about this game, the mounts. I think in WoW and in uh, Final Fantasy XIV, they all pretty much do the same thing. I mean, yeah, they can fly, but... Okay, so yeah, there's still uh, there we're still in the escort mission part of this. He's got to go down here, and they gotta basically protect this guy. And then uh, he's got to come all the way up here, and then it's gonna be an additional five minutes. So yeah, I have a bad call. And the rest of these. Yeah, we're looking at anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes of just waiting on these bosses. I was hoping for a world boss, but this is gonna have to do. Refreshing. Situations like this where I'm up against some tough enemies, I'll probably just end up stealing and healing. Of course, no sooner do I say that. As you, can, as you can see here, what you just saw, just me just constantly rotating around between all the attunements. So there's a pretty uh, there's a pretty heavy combo system in here. Now, earlier I mentioned the two elite specs, Weaver and um I forget the name of the other one, Tempest. They kind of uh they kind of enhance that in various ways, but like I said, it's uh there's a super long long and involving process in order to unlock them. One which, uh, it really wouldn't work with me. Because you need at least, you need at least 30 just to start. And in order to get hero points, you have to do what I just did. These, uh, you can find these in various parts of the world, and uh, a lot of them are to be pretty inaccessible, like a, and um, in case I didn't say earlier, they do uh, what are called hero trains, I think it's called, where one guy who really knows what he's doing, he's been playing the game a long time, that knows a quick and efficient way of unlocking all of these, um, he'll he'll start a train and then everybody follows him. Problem is, is I can't keep up half the time. 
And uh, it's one of those situations where if you can't keep up, you get left behind. So, I had, uh, the reason you saw the mounts, the mounts that I have, were because, uh, for lack of a better phrase, a private tutor, he basically had to hold my hand and uh, show me where to go to get all these. So, same thing with all these points. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. Um, it's still in the uh, transitioning here, so... And I really do need to get back on my blog post. I need to get on my stream bed and stuff. So, like I said, I got a fair amount of evening stuff I got to get taken care of. So, I just wanted to do this demo. Um, just show people show people how this elementalist plays. So, but, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.